it's me, Linda. And we'll get the video out today. It's gotten longer and longer. And thank everybody for sending in your stuff. It may be later this evening. Um, the video, No War, Not in My Name. It, it's people from around the world have spoke out. And, and I'm so humbled over that. But that's not what I'm here to do a video on. It's September 11th, 2013. I was reading about what Obama said last night. And I really believe he suffers from a cognitive dissonance disorder. And anything this man says should not even be taken seriously. He should actually be put in a mental institution. Because I couldn't make heads or tails of it. I'm serious, I couldn't. And I don't watch TV. I, I can't even watch the man uh, talk. I have to read what he said because he disturbs me that much. I think we have mentally ill people running the empires. You no, know, they're inbred. Some people say it's the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, but they are too public. I think there's people behind them. You know, that's what I think. I think it's the same game that's been played for thousands of years to control people. As long as there's control, these ones that set themselves as the chosen ones, and I'm not talking about Israel at this point, I'm talking about the ones that control the empires because they've moved across many lands and said this was their empire. Now they're just using Israel. But these empires that are set up, they've pretty much promoted every war that's happened. So when I see bikers ride in, to Washington DC I think it's honorable to honor the victims of 9-11 because that was a false flag to get us to go and hate another country and their beliefs these people who had never done not one thing to us but I guess some of the bikers say that they didn't want the Muslims to have their free speech Muslims who over in Iraq are still suffering to this day from sanctions, birth defects, depleted uranium. While you can ride your motorcycle and eat dinner, these people are drinking dirty water and dying like flies. I'm not putting down the bikers at all. I think you just ought to have it put together right. And don't use God or any Abrahamic religion in this to justify it. Because look back into the Abrahamic religions a little bit. I mean, the Muslims come from the Abrahamic, Abrahamic religion. So do the Jews and the Christians. Why can't y'all all just get along? I, I find it ironic that you all came from the same source, but none of you can decide on which story's right. I'm a Native American. I believe in a creator who created us all to live on this earth in harmony. But then the empires got a hold of that, didn't they? At one time, we were all indigenous to something. I'm just still guilty of being a Native American in the 21st century. I still love the earth, and I go outside, and I love the sun, because the sun helps keep the earth alive. I've been called a sun worshiper before. Maybe I do worship it. I get a lot of vitamin A and D from it. I need that. It helps my brain, helps me. I try to mitigate all the chemicals coming over here that are perpetuated by our own government, like Fukushima. Uranium tailings, I don't know what's in our water. We have a well, stuff from the chemtrails. How can we go to another war when we do chemical weapons here on our own soil? I know this is going to make some of you guys mad for me saying this, you know. I honor those victims too. I actually say a sacred prayer for everybody who has died because of the Empire's 9-11 false flag. Even the Muslims. They were innocent women and children. Guantanamo Bay should have been shut down a long time ago. If these men want to die from starving themselves to death, could you blame them? Could you? And when you say enough, let them die in their own honorable way. Make peace with whoever they believe in. I mean, there comes a time when people have to let go of some of this hatred and division. Because, see, they are keeping us divided by using 9-11. <clears throat> it's, 
It's just another day to me, another day that the empires got more control. Don't use it to divide us. Think of those people that we're attacking right now and that we may go attack. More innocent bloodshed. I don't care who you believe in. I just often wonder why y'all can't get along if you're all coming from the same source. And actually, I believe we all come from the same source, a creator. Whatever you call them, it don't matter the color of your skin. I'm not white. I'm tan. I think right now, I'm just disturbed because people think they're going to be saved by letting whatever plan the Creator has unfold. But I don't think that's how it works. I think that the Creator expected us to take care of this planet and each other. At this point, I would think the Creator would be very disappointed in all of us for not having an extinguished, I mean, and just banned the empires, banished them, turn our back. I don't think the Creator would even make an appearance at this point because His instructions are written in our heart to love one another. No matter who you are, you love one another. You think he's going to come save people with all this hatred and bitterness? I don't hate anybody. I dislike the empire system. The system of government and controls got to end. I walk out, my church, I guess if you want to call it that, or where I worship is outside in nature. This is our home. This is what our creator gave us. Everything around us should be respected. I don't need a temple or a building to go into. I don't. And have been forced into some. Because I'm indigenous, I've been forced into trying to be indoctrinated. I wasn't very good at it. I've always spoke my mind. Maybe, maybe it's because the government was using my mom in an experiment and... And my family talked about it, so did my mom. So I knew she was going to die, she knew she was. But we didn't fear death or the empires. My family just told me to get stronger. And although all of them are pretty much dead, I've got one cousin alive, really, that's really related to me, but besides my children and my brother's children. Um, <clears throat> she actually denies being an Indian now in fear of repercussions. So, isn't that sad that you have to deny who you are because the government likes to still kill people on their own land. The Iraqis are still being killed on their own land. The Afghanistans, Somalia, let's just name it, Yemen, Libyans. And here in America, the original Americans, they're still getting killed on their own land, too, by an empire system that wants to control the whole world and keep everybody in fear. I guess that's my lament to this 9-11 false flag. Everybody says we're going to go into World War III. I don't think it's World War III. We could probably say it's World War X. I think there's been a lot of them throughout history. Um, I know I would call the American Indian War that's been going on for over 500 years a world war at this point, or at least a, to us it is. This was our home, and we're still fighting. Most nations are considered prisoner of war camps, FEMA camps. We don't have the same rights as you do, but I don't live on a res now. I actually got my rights, but I've got the rights of a free person because this is my land. If you live here, I think you shouldn't hold that piece of paper, the Constitution, up in too high esteem. The Constitution was writ by, written by empire makers. I'm serious. It didn't include all peoples. They didn't respect the blacks, the Indians just white men. That's all that thing was written for. It's funny though, they took that constitution from a bunch of women in the Iroquois Confederacy. Can you imagine Ben Franklin and Thomas Jefferson and Adams sitting around having to discuss the Iroquois Confederacy's constitution? 
and see how they lived in so much harmony. It was called the Great Law of Peace. That is what we call our Constitution and them taking some parts out but leaving the best parts away from what you guys know. The parts that would have kept us out of the empires. So these white men went and wrote what they took from us down, some of it, and added their own two cents and made it an empire. The great law of peace will come back to all countries eventually. Creator wills that. But you're either going to have to stand on the side of the empires and be controlled by them and what they say is and is not or look within yourself and your heart. And I'm not disrespecting a religion. But I'm going to tell you, we're all connected and we're all human beings and this earth was put here for all of us and there's no chosen race. No, and there's no chosen country. The Creator loves us all. I think he, she, shaking her head, his head, and saying, get it together. Because I, I you know, this is unreal. He, she's probably scratching his head saying, I can't believe these people haven't got it by now. I wrote the instructions in their heart. Don't they understand? Get rid of the empires. 9-11 to me is a day that woke some people up. Others still fall right back into the trance, so when this day comes around, looks at another nation or another race of people and points their fingers and says, we're better than you. Well, no, you're not. We're all the same. We all love. We all dislike. We all have a lot of things, but we all have one thing in common. We are humanity. We better start connecting those dots. Now, I'm pretty tired, and I was pretty angry after listening to this dummy talk last night. And then I was really upset that people were upset that Muslims were protesting in, in the corporation of America's capital. And that the bikers were going there to disrupt that. I think they should join together and say, look, no more wars. Not in our name probably work. I have Muslim friends. They're pretty cool people. I mean, there's some fanatical everythings. Some fanatical Indians. I call them corporate Indians. They'll sell their own people out for that piece of paper. Just like the fanatical Muslims will and the fanatical Christians and the fanatical Jews. And we could go on and on with the Buddhists and whoever. Those fanatical ones that chase that paper will sell their own people out. Don't sell humanity out. Unite. Let this day go down as remembrance that we unite the whole damn world. Turn your backs on the empires. You know 9-11 wasn't done by some people with box cutters. If you still believe that story, then just get off my channel.